Oh, there you go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to CCL Season 49, Round of 16 match. The first Round of 16 match between Leet and his Kemri and Elliot and his vampires. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello. Hello, everybody. Here we have Elliot, the, I think the last uh, vampire team. Mm. Yes, Maybe it could be. It is, yeah. He's, he's beaten Gdanik in the... Uh, <laughs> In the race uh, to reach the final, <laughs> yeah. and uh, Elliot has a uh, who's that? Is Igor? Yes, yeah. It's, he's a bit rubbish, but he's kind of cheap. Um, you know, he's got a thick skull. It's an armory. He's not terrible. Um, All Cheney. right, but Cheney, yes, uh, mandatory. Uh, wizard and a bribe. Yeah. And two, uh... ah no, it's because he has two stars. He's a short even in in, in thralls. Yeah, yeah. So thirteen men in the end, and uh, and obviously super super wonder vampire is uh, is the big thing, isn't it? Oh yes, that's uh, that's the the player that can give uh, Elliot the game because I don't think Kemri uh, do very well versus vamps. No, I don't think so. Unless they, unless they slaughter them. <laughs> yes, unless they slaughter them, you know. But the the hypnotic gaze, being able to enter the cage, the problems that the uh, Camry uh, has with the ball handling, the wizard. I hate this from Elliot, by the way. He's just he's just offering him up as a sacrifice. He can hit this one, get the guard in, get this guard in, and then two uh, D in with tackle uh, palm. Yes. I don't think uh, that bump should be on the first line. No, I think he's he's got to change this. He's got he, he can't just lose in turn one. You just you just can't. Oh wow, he hasn't changed it. Unbelievable. Um, and then yeah, Leeds team is fourteen players, a couple of dirty players, uh, some guard, obviously great team guardians, incredible killers, and nice uh, thrower. So yeah, pretty pretty great team from Leeds. Very good uh, team. Mm. He could also hit Cheney, but I don't give a shit about Cheney. When when you when you can two D this guy, like that's yes, good, isn't yes, it? and Pylon. Yeah, I, I, I guess you you hit this guy and then see if it's a one in nine, you can give up, I guess, and then go for Cheney. But like obviously, even if it's a push, then it's it's two D on him. I mean, it's hard to get two hard to get two dice on him, isn't it? And it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to do. It. You've got to go for this. Yeah, I, I really don't like Elliot. And now, this up. there you go. Yeah. And here comes the blitz. Yeah. Yeah, you you, you have to. You you just literally have to. <laughs> yeah. Now even the the side step is going to be useless because he only has a one square to go, which <laughs> is a. More or less if a square, but you know. Yeah. Oh man, this was bold. This was very bold from uh, Elliot. You call it bold? I think it's maybe a mistake. Hmm. I mean, if it's a trap for the pylon, and then foul, uh, foul it is like, I don't know. I still don't like it. No, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Instant full pow. Yeah. Follow and instant pile on. <laughs> yes, yes. He gets away with it, the dirty Dino. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my, I'm punished. Absolutely, I'm punished. And now he has the juggernaut tag. It could be tagged there forever, you know. And there's a dirty player right next to him. Oh god, the it's just a disaster. The next to it is like... Wow. Wow. If you remember Purple and, uh, Chess game, of course, where PC did a GFI with a runner just to get 2D hit on a, on a strength 4 edge 4. Uh, Burt Blitter, and of course, cast him instantly without piling on. In, the, in this game, you know, the vampire is offered up easily and nothing happens. Gross injustice. Uh, 
And now comes the fun part because if there is the no pickup, you know, he fails the pickup, it's a complete, absolutely unmitigated disaster. Yeah, and there it is. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Boy, howdy. I think Cheney can reach the one of the thrombus at least. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, Cheney can get in, right in. This guy can get 2 deed this guy can get 2 deed he can get also, fouled. getting Cheney there is uh, very good because there is no risk for Cheney. There is no dangerous uh, pieces around because most the best pieces of the Camry are on the left side of the pitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a uh, absolutely master plan for uh, Elliot, uh, you know, reading the pitch, reading the algorithm of the dice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, Storr's right. It, it does get space for Cheney the event this way. But I mean, it was, it was. I still think it was too bold and too risky, right? Because it's like, that is your win con. It's like, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't block Cheney there. He could have moved this over here. But I guess, you know, you're just a gaze away anyway. Then you gaze him and then you surf him, right? So, like, it's. You're pretty fucked if you try to do that. And there is a very easy foul now on the, the fallen player. Elliot has a bribe. Mm -hmm. So I think the correct order here will be, you know, blitz with Cheney, see what happens. Ooh. What's this? That's interesting, isn't it? Oh, he's not hitting that. He's not hitting that Tomb Guardian. He's going straight through the middle. Ah, so he, he so he tries that, and then he's, he's got, I guess he's going to blitz this Tomb Guardian now with this guy. And if he if he had gazed him, then obviously this guy could have come straight straight away and done something. But now surely this guy's going to blitz him. Gambri uh, are in a. Very uh, bad situation. Yeah. Is this guy to do something with? This guy's toast. He's not blitzing. He's just gazing at him. So now is he moving both of these through and not fouling at all? Maybe. And Blitz with uh, Cheney. Yeah. There you go. I think uh, the block attack is the best. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Call it. Oh, God, the power. <laughs> and the removal. Boy, howdy. Oh, uh, boy, howdy. <laughs> and he can get these through. And he can pick it up. First, put some thralls in the general area just in case you blood last. Yeah. And let's not forget that for the end of the turn, Igor has the downlay, so he could try, you know, to 2D the, the Tomb Guardian and free another thrall. Mm. I didn't even know he had downlays. <laughs> yes, this is because you put the, you know, when you saw it the, the before, like, okay. Mm. Have to uh, find out more about these boobies. Yeah, would, you, would you believe it? Woo. And now, hypnotic gaze the Thora. Yes, yeah. Or hand off. No, I guess, yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, that was a misplay by, misplay by Elliot, wasn't it? He had that free gaze and didn't uh, use it. He had the free gaze, yes. An uncharacteristic error. And that was pretty important, right? Because that's an assist like that. Uh, who wants oh, to? He wants and to. He tried to dodge with uh, Igor. I will go for the downless because it's a three. Also, it's a three plus. Yeah, but it's a mighty blow hit, isn't it? And then yes, but it's a two dice. It's two dice. It was mm. a two dice. Uh, you know, three plus for a two dice on a tomb guardian. Yeah. And free another troll. Yeah. True. But that was a bit of a... That was maybe a mistake. Uh, the Binotic gaze, yes. Uh, probably, probably uh, maybe... Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Fell in very well. He's been a little sick. 
The gears is 100% days. mistake, isn't it? Because, I mean, imagine if this guy was already activated. Like, it's just huge, isn't it? That's, I bet he'll be kicking himself already for that. Like, that was absolutely... That was an amazing hypno gears to do. Armor wreck. Oh. Oh, my God. Catch from Cheney. <laughs> Nearly Early. impactful. <laughs> Yeah, the no gaze was actually massive, yeah. Yes, because either the, you know, throw that was gaze that will change the whole play. Mm. Yep, he's in a lot of trouble now, isn't he, Reed? A lot of trouble. So now Elliot looks like a genius for offering up his uh, strength five as a sacrifice. <laughs> yes, yes, no. Uh... Deciding where to grab. I think away from the vampire. Uh... Yeah. Now nah, we like it to have anyone square more to the right. Mm. Just to keep the throat separated from the vampires. Mm. Here we go. He gets the pick up in the tackle zone Against and the, the dodge. dodge. <laughs> Without the rolling dodge, some uh, lead getting some uh, justice on the dice, maybe. Mm. Well, Super Vamp doesn't have tackle, does he? So. And the tackler is is stunned, so it's we, we're down to a wrestle blitz, which is looking obviously very easy. It's, uh... Or uh, wrestle uh, blitz with uh, Cheney with friends. Okay, this is gonna be a reroll. Hmm. Yeah, if he hadn't done that, he could have he could have blitzed the Skellington to chain Cheney in for the block, which would have been the best play. But now I think he's just got to. Uh, Here comes Ventanus, to... first time child, easy pick up. There you go. Welcome <laughs> to the channel. Unless you are being one of these persons that have been quiet for three years. <laughs> yeah, there's people like that, isn't there? It's pretty weird. I can, I think I can see two dice on the ball. Yep, sure looks like it. You just go straight forward with the rest of the way. Instant reroll. Oh! And now he can gaze the uh, mummy that is uh, tagging the AG5, trying to free him. Mm. I mean, there is a lot of lots of options for, uh, for Elliot right now. Yeah, he can do anything, can he? It's like it's kind of crazy the uh, the options that vampires have. He might just punch. As boring as it is, that's only one D, isn't it? But he could gaze him and then two D there and move him. Yep. I guess he'll want to move. I guess he'll want to get the, the big boy somewhere better, but you know, who knows? I mean, if he can dodge with the IG5 and gaze the ball carrier, for example. Yeah. He's got his. It's crazy. It's crazy the things vampires can Or gaze one of the pieces uh, tagging Cheney so Cheney can uh, get the free hits in the guard, the uh, skeleton. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go, that's free, uh, two pieces there. Yeah, and then that gives Cheney the hit. And then he can move the Bloch Vampire to envelop completely the, the wall carrier.
cheeky three plus. Love to see it. I know, yeah, that vampire can. Uh... There you go. Well, he goes the right way. Shtick, of course, would have would have gone up here to make a two plus dodge for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> there Rem you go. Perfect uh, development. Yeah, remembers the gears this time. Lovely. Man, I would like to be elite. No, this looks horrible, isn't it? It's gone from, I mean, it's gone from like a dream to, to a any, nightmare, hasn't it? Any day of the week, but today, <laughs> especially not. <laughs> specifically in this Blood Bowl match. No, specifically in this Blood Bowl match, it's even worse. <laughs> I mean... He can free the tackle the juggernauts. Mm. It's really rough though. You know, uh, hitting with the Tomb Guardian, then uh, hitting with the other tackler guard. Yeah, the, the edge could just uphill. Uphill him and then run down the field. It's not bad, is it? Because you can have and power there and then you go one two three four five six so you could you could come in here for the assist and uh punch him and then go yeah it's got to be ego Oh, side step. He's got grab though, so. Oh, grab <laughs> oh. The counter. Mm. Of course, only cancelling in this edition of the rules. In the next edition, he could still place with grab, which is pretty cool. This does make the uphill worse though, because now he can only go this way. One, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You could run all the way down there, which is pretty decent. I mean, you are asking a lot for a thrower, huh? but yeah, it could be done. Yeah, it's not that this is uh, two dice, two red dice anyway. So yeah, I mean, I don't see anything else he can do. I think he's going to do the red dice on the maybe on the leader Gressel. And uh, come to be surrounded by the mummies, by yeah, the tomb yeah. guardians. Yeah, that's got the better the better success there. The problem is the wrestle just turning you over. I guess the thing is, if you take the ball down on him, you're not going to be able to make the dodges anyway, right? So you might as well just go for the wrestler here. Yeah, that might be better. Just go straight through the wrestler. Screw it. Alternatively, he could uh, he could uphill Cheney, right? And then try and get the guard in there. Yeah, that's the problem. Get to the double pals! Oh my god! Double on the roll! He pushed him the wrong square though, whoopsie. That's, yes, that was mm. in the... I guess maybe it's the right way. He gets him there. I would, have put him, I would have rather put him down, but... Yes. Maybe that's better, because you've got him on the team guardian, but... I don't know, I would have put him down. And then yeah, he's more or less in a more or less in a cage now, isn't he? More or less. I mean, there's still a lot of problems around, but it would be a dodge with block. That's a great point, Star. Despite his team name being called a bunch of blockless dodges, um, he does have block on his dodger. <laughs> And now maybe hero dodge with a block uh, fend uh, just to attack the vampire, you know. Ooh, I think maybe the maybe the mummy should have punched him because this wrestler is like a good way to hit the ball, isn't he? Um, yes, so that I'm was a lack of time. Mm. 
It's like obviously okay, you're, you're occupying this guy, but you can just two plus away wherever the fuck he wants. So I think that's definitely worth that hit. Maybe uphill Cheney. Wouldn't have been so bad. Or just dodge out the guard. Or dodge out Fender. I will uh, dodge out the Fender just to put him and tag in the vampire. Dodge me blocker. Bligger in it. He's got, he's got a bligger as his ball carrier. It's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good having a bligger. Because now, for example, the vampire can get up, uh, gaze the guard, the skeleton, the other thrall gives it the, the, the skeleton. If you free Cheney, Cheney has two dice on the ball. Mm. And they're just only looking at Cheney. I mean, there is another one, you know, with the wrestler, the, the G5. Yeah, he's got the tackle here, hasn't he, I guess. But he can't reach. Yeah, he can't reach to hit with a tackler. So you can go there for the assist, then he could try and gaze this one. And then he could try and get in with him, but he hasn't got that many cases, has he? I mean, he can gaze with a G5. The mummy. Uh, yeah, but you'd, you'd want to gaze him to get him in, right? So and I just free him, and that's just the easiest study of your life. <laughs> Maybe this guy should have gazed him. Maybe he should have gazed him, rather than him. And then he could have tried to gaze him. And then get him on the ball. And then gaze him, and then get him in. I guess he doesn't have to get him down this turn, but he wants to. Or at least get people back. He's got a lot behind the ball now, hasn't he? Like, he's got five players behind the ball. So, yeah, he's just going to get back. Yeah, oh, yeah, dodge him out and then get him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I was just going to stay there and gaze him, but it's worth a 1 in 36 to run all the way around. Oh, 1D there? No, because you've got a hit from here, haven't you? And there's a guard yep. there. And he didn't move him there. So who's he blitzing? Blitzra. So if he powered him, he could have gone in and then blocked him, which would have been pretty nice. Gonna base the ball. And this time he's going to try the Minotic Gaze for sure. Yep. Any box of front defend? Does he take the both down to free the uh, to free the thrall? He might want to, because otherwise he just fends away. Yes. He just, he that just is fends away. Block. Hmm. Well, I think this was a bit of a an escape from <laughs> Leet again, but it's still really hard for him to stabilize, isn't it? It's super hard for him yes, to stabilize still. I mean, now he's going to get more than a few hits. If he gets lucky, he can get rid of a few uh, thralls or something like that, you know? Hmm. So it's so hard though. I guess yeah, you've got to hit Eagles so that you can blitz this vampire. I guess you hit him, <laughs> and then he could assist there for, or the ball carry could assist there for that 2D actually. But then you've got him there. It's, it's all very tricky still. 
I probably will do the GFI to get the that uh, I mean when I square up. Yeah, but then where do you and where do you put the ball though as well, isn't it? It's like oh yeah, it's really it's really difficult for Leeds still. Really not nice. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. This was an absolute disaster. It's funny, isn't it? And it, you know, it looked like, and like it was bold. You know, that's why I did say it was just bold from Elliot. It wasn't necessarily bad, was it? And as it happens, he's he's got away with it, and he's you know got a lot of. You know, he got the failed pickup, and then he got a lot of ball pressure and everything. But um, on another day, he could have just had his super vampire Kaz instantly. Ooh. Ball in there? No. Ball in there. Oof. This may well not be enough. <laughs> and when I say may well not be enough, it's almost certainly not going to be enough. Tackle is here, ready to hit him. Which is just the same as the wrestle, but he is strength 4 already. So he just needs this guy gazed or an assist. Well, he can't get an assist. He doesn't get any guard, has he? I'm pretty sure there's no guard. No. Match it. Oh, well, he could. Um, he's here, so he could gaze him, and then he could hit on a one D easily. No, oh, he's, he's not back. gone for that. Hello. Nobody died, I see. Yeah. A decent potato on the left. He did, as a miss, but like, after he potatoes there, what happens? Do you know what I mean? Like, all the vans come and mug him, so. The bolts, I pick up the ball with the AD5. Yeah. It's really rough. Here's the big one. Always pile on. There we go, he gets the gaze. Gets the pow. Full pow, tackle, fake skill. Mm. And now the edge 5 is ready to recover and win the game. Ooh, tough scatter. Two tackle zones, which means for the IG5 a three plus to pick up the ball. Yeah. Well, if you, if you can clear him, which it's not, I probably can't. He's just got a gaze, hasn't he? He can't go for the pick up here. He does it, he just goes in, doesn't care. Oh, yeah, two tackle zones, oh my god. Yeah. It's two tackle zones, not three, yeah. They yeah, are I was thinking it was three. Three, three, three plus with a reroll. Yeah. Easy, busy. Yep, easy. There you well, go. Why, why even care about anything? I, I think he wants the GFI to make this hit, but you, you can't GFI, can you? You know, you, you've, you've done everything. Don't get greedy. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't know. Fan the beef. You know, you. you he can punch. This is almost over. A blackless dodge! <laughs> <laughs> this is literally almost over. Don't say it's over! <laughs> but it's almost over. Both Pommers knocked over, so he's not even getting attrition. Oh god. Bloodlustless game, yeah, I think it is, yeah. I uh, haven't seen any bloodlust. Yeah. I 
I mean, it's also on Kemri, right? The, the problem is Kemri just aren't reactive at all. Like, it's brutal, man. And, and Elliot gave him that hit. And you've got to take it. You've got to take that hit. Yes. And if he rolls normally, then he's removed the, his, Elliot's best player on turn one. And he's still in trouble, but at least he's removed his best player. <laughs> what can you do? I don't know what percentage he was to remove Elliot's best player, but it was it was pretty good and all that. Yes, fair enough, still. But you know, what I mean, they were, they were both they were both prone. <laughs> and then uh, the failed pick up. I mean, if he would uh, lead, you know, I've got the pick up. Yeah. This could be a completely different story, and mm -hmm. it was seventy five percent. Yeah, yeah, I was surprised he didn't screen the sideline. Like, the problem is, if you screen the sideline, obviously you get that guy served, which isn't ideal, is it? So, he didn't really want somebody getting served. But I guess when the alternative is having Cheney on your balls, maybe you should have got a guy served. I mean, there wasn't any real good uh, choice because Elliot have all the tools to break any, you know, uh, defense or the. Oh, yeah, you had the fend. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, he could have put the screen with the fend. Okay, yeah, I'm an idiot then, Chigan. Yeah, yeah. All right, he should, he should have just, yeah, he could have screened with the fend. Oh, in that case, yeah, that was pretty bad by elite. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that's fair enough. Yeah, he's got fend, so yeah, he could have he could have screwed, he could have guard there, he couldn't even fend here, and then or, or even next to each other, and then he can't get a fend served at all. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he literally had a fend guy. <laughs> yeah, he should he should have covered the sideline. Yeah. Well, I think he should have done it anyway, but I was less critical when I thought it was costing him a surf. Wow, the old 1D pal. So that works out perfectly for him, doesn't it? That was a good solution. Just roll a 1D pal. Wait, hey, he's not doing it. Okay, yeah, he is. You can move him first, yeah. All right. Gets another full pal, and he's got two D on the ball. That was that was a good play, wasn't it? Just rolled a six to start off the turn and got it. There you go. I get that to you. High rollers, high rollers here. Yeah. Mm. Can he roll the third consecutive full pal? No. I wonder if he should have dodged him. One, two, three, four, five. Double dodge, double GFI. <laughs> and then uh, one day. It's probably not worth it, is it? I think we're going to say now that the Camry are not going to score. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I think that's a safe bet. So now they need to try to stop the vampire score, which seems very difficult. Mm. Cheney can surf. He's got to think about all the bloodlusts and everything as neither possible bloodlusts and where the thralls need to be before he activates his vampires. Oh, bloodlust! Hmm. Don't believe it. 
The best part is now, you know, the the IG5 can punch the fan piece. Don't care about the result and just touch away. Mm. To the bottom left corner. And that's a stall. You might just go double dodge, right, and then blitz with Cheney so that Cheney isn't on the sideline after surfing this guy. I don't know how much he cares about Cheney being on the sideline. Probably not at all, because you could blitz the fender and then stand there after Cheney surfed, right, to protect Cheney. So maybe that's the idea. <laughs> Use the ball carrier to protect Cheney. I can just, you can just gaze this fender. No, he can't. Blitzing. Oh, he's dodge. Then three dicing. Beautiful. Beautiful cars. <laughs> there you go, and now it's Chinese surf. I don't think there is any actual piece that could reach there and be, you know, a problem. He's definitely going to take the power now, right? Yes, take the power and keep a uh, chain in there. Yeah, and he's got the full screen across. And no possible count surf. I mean, there is the dirty player, you know, could do a... <laughs> <laughs> And now even he is, even that uh, hero player is shut down by this free throw. So, yep, this is looking uh, pretty much over. Well, First Le half. Oh, there's a pal. Leap must be gutted, mustn't he? The half opened with him just like getting to smash the, the best player on the pitch. Yes, the, the perfect blitz, you know, the, 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 the one that you want to get rid of, the, the, your best chance. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, as I said, Lee was the underdog in this game, even if the TV difference, you know, there is there, but the Wizard for Vampires is very good, Cheney is very good. You know, meanwhile, uh, the Camry have bench and a few skeletons with the skills end of the day hypnotic gaze and you know the speed and all that is too power yeah Kemri are terrible for like reactiveness and yes and you they need are to good be pretty reactive that, you know, against vamps at following a plan and that's it yeah. there is no change of plan there is no plan b with Kemri. yep but their plan a can be pretty good if they kill things, but uh, he's barely done anything. Yes. I mean, they have four strength five uh, movement four uh, pieces. Mm. So they are very good, you know, I say, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, you know. Having a game plan, but there is no plan B. Eh? Going for the thralls. Reddit, Reddit strats. I would have intended to go for Cheney there, but no, I think the troll is the easiest target. Yeah. This is not the time to go for the thralls, he has more. This was the time to go, you know, for the juicy pieces. <laughs> oh, makes a dodge with a pommer. Actually. Really, really hard here. It looks like it's uh, Elliot's drive here. Yes. Yeah, this is almost 100% uh, Elliot's score. I mean, the Camry, can, the Camry can't do a uh, score in two turns anyway. No. And they're not going to have two turns. <laughs> <laughs> It was a block, uh, a dodge with block, so that was really good. <laughs> yep. No blockless dodges from Lee. Oh, 
I'm not sure he's made a blockless dodge. Oh, he did. He did with the the dirty player made a blockless dodge earlier. Bloodlust. And the second KO in a bloodlust. Mm. You know, they are. Uh, they don't get the match bloodlust, but when they wait it, they get it good. <laughs> I mean, Elliot doesn't even care about scoring now, right? If he scores now, it just means he's got two more chances to. Like, it means he's got an extra chance to get his kills. But... So he might even score. He could score a... Uh... Alright, there uh, yes. Not a problem at all. He could maybe... Uh... Install one more turn and, you know, leave the Camry with only one turn. But the difference with Camry with one turn or two turns is... Irrelevant. Yeah, it's true. I, I really don't think... I really don't think... Camry will be scoring. I mean, there, you know, people... Oh, yes, I did a two turns with Camry, but it's, it's so perfect. <laughs> Yeah, plus, I mean, you may have seen Core do a Kenry 2 turn, but have you seen him do it versus Elliot? Probably not. That's the thing. Exactly, I mean, it's possible. it's possible, it's mm. possible. Even uh, he has a movement 7 piece, you know, in theory it's possible to have a one turner with Kenry, yes. But how many times, you know, will, how much money will you put on the <laughs> Kenry 2 turner versus Vampires? Yeah. Not much. Or any team. <laughs> or any team. It's just anything was wrong and that's it. Yep. Oh yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't like betting on it against anybody, but then you know if against Elliot, no. No, I would not bet I would not bet ten bits on it. <laughs> no, not ten bits, ten channel points. Ten rowdies. I wouldn't even bet ten rowdies on it. <laughs> and I bet ten rowdies on Elliot losing every single game. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still it's still plus EV, right? Because you're always getting like about 100 to 1 on no, you. Oh, and there is still again the strength 5 is a, can be targeted again. Wow, yeah. I mean, harder this time though, right? This time, it's very hard to target. Especially if you're trying to two turn. So now it's probably hit a, hit, a, uh, hit a vampire on the edge. Probably the tackler, seeing as you have a, you have a dodge carrier. So I don't know why he's on this side. He should obviously be on the other side. Yes, he is a target the tackler and foul him. Yeah. Yep. I think he's just realised. <laughs> Maybe not. Now is when uh, Elliot gets a blitz and gets a uh, two near. Yeah. Yeah, if there's a blitz, it's a very real danger of the two nil. There's still the danger of the two nil anyway, right? The chaining the two turns. And the wizard. Yeah, exactly. He necessarily has to put everything forward because Kenry are garbage. Dude, I hate this. I hate not going down the down the tackle side. Like I get that you're further away from tackles, so that takes him out of the equation, hitting the ball or whatever. But like, it's a player to kill, isn't it? So I'd go for him for the second half for like your match equity. I, the end of the day. Terrible kick for a elite, isn't it? It's terrible, terrible kick. Yeah, exactly. Like, to win this, to win this game, it's more likely not that you have to win this game by scoring a two turn as Lee. You're more likely you win the game by casting a bunch of guys and, you know, having, uh, having Elliot's half, you know, lose, crumble to a double one. Uh, with not many players left, yes. it's, it's probably how you win. So to that end, I would want to blitz the tackle guy. <laughs> it is, yeah, exactly. So if you just if you just give up trying to score, you can just punch, punchy, punchy things, can't you? So I think maybe he should have. Uh, 
made less of an effort to score, more of an effort to Kaz and you know. It's because this effort to get a two turner, you know, there is a Cheney and the IG five that can, you know, create make a screen mm -hmm. and that's it. Yep. And that's yeah, now it involves a Kenry pass. Yep. Scoring more pomming. Yeah, honestly, just just get your pom hits in. Pom this guy. Pom someone on the other ass. Foul this guy. Le combat est très déséquilibré, Bob. Eh oui. Son adversaire se fera atomiser. Je suis tout émoustillé. Eh oui. Ça me rappelle la célèbre histoire Nurgling et Grand Immonde. Mais sans miracle ce coup-ci. Oh wow, he's really, he's really going for this score. I think that's going to really encourage Elliot to go for the counter score. Le coach a le mérite de savoir choisir le meilleur joueur pour chaque action. Les bons outils font les bons ouvriers. Oh, en gros. Pretty decent though, isn't it? He's got this strong with a double screen and he's got a bunch of guys up here. This is a pretty good turn. As as crap as the Kenry 2 turn is, this is a good effort at it, I think. Like, he may still just get the ball sacked by Cheney, but still. Yep, okay, he's GFI'd out of range of the, of the Cheney ball sack. He does not want Shaney's ball sack in his face. I mean, uh, Elliot has a really easy way to stop the, any chance, uh, you know, making a screen. He has a lot of throws there. He has the Cheney, the IG5. Yeah. Oblique, one of the scoring threads. Yeah, maybe he'll just defend it. Like, it is very easy to defend because Kemri are garbage. So, yeah, he probably just defends the... He probably just defends the two-turn. It's just really tempting to go for the 2 0 up, isn't it? Oh, wow, okay, he's not just defending. He's instantly bolted. Oh, yeah, he's, he's suddenly... Okay, so what I thought was good, he moved a bunch of people while I wasn't looking and then exposed this. Wow. Hmm. I did not expect that. Well, you're just going for the win. Jenny can't get the ball. He can't get the ball. Oh, yeah. No, he can't. He's one shot. Yeah, I've actually liked where he had everybody there with that, that double screen kind of thing. Oh, he's double one this. Well, there you go. Did he have to make that dodge? Could he have walked around? This guy can punch him and chain him so he can hit Cheney. That's the most important thing, right? Take away the chain score. It's not what I would have done. Yeah, that was a foolish... Uh... Yeah, I expected that guy to get blitzed, to be honest. I don't know, but then I don't know what Elliot's plan was. Like, I assume the strength 5 is doing the blitz somewhere, somehow. Maybe just straight through, I don't know. Maybe through there. I assume the strength five was making the blitz. And then like attempting GFIs. Hello Darkstar. Oh Lord, hello Roadmerg. So, uh, sorry if I haven't said hello to anybody. Hello Van. It was it was the fend, yeah. I mean he was he was for sure gonna blitz with him, wasn't he? somehow 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe he was going to like do that. He was going to blitz this guy and then like GFI to here or something. Or kill. Yep, so he chains him out. To blitz Cheney. This was definitely the correct play, wasn't it? Both down is good. Okay, well this is not this is not the play at all. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. Don't you just blitz Cheney like he's he's in range. And you can just you've got a seventy five percent hit on him. Because you can take the both down, because you can't score on the both down. He's one dicing the star player instead. Oh no, two dicing of guard. Okay, yeah, so he's hitting him. Okay then. Okay, okay. another hit here. This could be big. Yeah, pomming the super van. Mm. I think that's a bit risky with Cheney in the vicinity. He's got a stun. Obvious pile. Only a KO. Does Elliot apple? He does. He does instantly apples. Yes, he can risk losing to the vampire. Dodge and foul. Go on, lead. Show, teach him a good lesson. Oh, I wonder how bad that, that one is. Because now, oh my god. We've got the vampire gazing him. We've got the other vampire. Is there another vampire? No. There's only one vampire left. Yeah. There's so you, an so you gaze this guy, don't you? And then I guess you dodge off and blitz him and score. Yeah, I hate not blitzing Cheney. Yeah, I, ju I just hate it. I, that's all you have to do. It's seventy five percent as well, isn't it? Oh, fills the gears. That's not great, is it? Not looking uh, very good right now. I mean, besides, it's been a fantastic half for Elliot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I know what you meant. Um, Aiton coming for the assist, and then Blitz, and then Chain, Chaney. So he's just got a three, and he's closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. That's the best, isn't it? I think. I believe. That could be. It. I could be wrong, but I very much doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a four three three. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it would still be a four three three. Oh, it's just. Oh, you already had the two D. You already had the two D. You didn't even need that guy now. Yeah, yeah, it's a three four three two two. Diced. Oh, dice. Absolutely dice. They are they are only on turn eight, yeah. There's been a lot of thinking because you know. Yes, it is a very complicated game. Mm, vampires are a thinky team, aren't they? Alright, meanwhile, they do the setup and all that. I'm gonna grab, prepare my dinner. Glorious. A quick video 30 minutes ago. That doesn't sound that quick, Jay Bassa. But, um, yeah, it's, ta it's, it's taken a little bit of time. Yeah, lots of, lots of thinking. 
Drilly drilly. Screwy screwy. This is round of 16, yeah. PC's game, I don't know. And it's certainly not, it's certainly not uh, said in the uh, Discord if it is today. We've got 1600 Saturday and 1700 Sunday for the next two that are confirmed. But yeah, people might have agreed and not posted. Nobody can know that. By the way, there's a, you know, the Dave Otational you may have heard of, tabletop event. Calcium is going to that. And, uh... <laughs> oh, God. I'll show you later. <laughs> Gonna play Monday or Tuesday. Have vamps made the quarters before? Probably. I mean, vampires are pretty flipping good once they're high TV. Or, in this case, if they're low TV with a really good player. using the semis, yeah, there you go. Is it not YouTube friendly? It's very YouTube friendly. There you go, look. It's just got to resize it. That's his carrying case. Team Fantastic. The Great White Shark. <laughs> it's five idiots pose. <laughs> Incredible. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, Happy glorious. sub day, Jim. Thank you very much, Darkside451, for staying fantastic for 10 glorious months. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. It's a great carry case, yeah. Not even been the finals, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, vampires are good at high TV. They're not like all the crap teams, are they? Like, uh. At high TV, they're super good. And it's like not unrealistic for them to get to the point where they're super good. But yeah, may maybe this this could be a strategy, just relying on Cheney. Cheney probably better than, than a normal thing. Yeah, getting Cheney in a whiz every round. Like, I think you need the superstar vamp, though, right? I think you need a star vamp to do it. But it's it's maybe a good way to... Oof. It's maybe a good way to... Uh, it's maybe the best strategy if you get the super vamp. But then, obviously, having, like, a whole team around them is also good. Like, you know, Gdynik's uh, team was rather good. Jaws in the cinema last week, yeah. It was a good movie, wasn't it, Jaws? Oh, 
au bord du terrain, à portée des mains des fans qui ont l'air affamés. Is he gonna dodge like he kinda has to, right? Is he gonna GFI with Jenny? He can't, I guess, because he's done him first. Alright. Hello. Hello. Orange getting done in the microwave. Lovely. <laughs> A bodybuilding classic. Yes, yes, yes. Bodybuilding, a strength training, protein, a high intake diet. Oh, yeah. Oh, thick skull, doing a thing. Mm. This is safe. I mean, safe enough, isn't it? Safe enough. I can see here that uh, Elliot going for the quick score here. It's hard to make a hundred percent safe when you've got to move six guys and primarily, but he is strength four blood, isn't he? I think this is pretty good. It's going to be big to see what Leet can do to. Uh, I mean, he has to stop it, right? I, I guess I don't like leaving the sidelines open, but then the problem is if you. If you don't, he can try and surf you with Cheney, so... Problem is, even if you do that, you don't really have a hit on the ball, do you? Even if you paddle the vamp, you don't really have a hit on the ball. Except when you use your friend. Well, he's only got he's only got one friend, hasn't he? So he could so he could defend one sideline. But I mean, he has to just get served. Like he has to just use crap. He has to use crap skeletons to defend the the sidelines, I guess. Because you just can't let them fast score, can you? Because if they fast score, they're two nil, they're two nil up, and you've lost. So I guess he just had to resign himself to losing a skeleton. Do you uphill with a tackler? It's pretty rubbish, isn't it? Yeah, really bad, yeah. I think he's going for a Cheney. Oh, he's got a stand firm, yeah, okay, he's got a stand firm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for the reverse one in nine. I mean, it's all he's got, so yeah. Oh, no, nah, I think you probably had to do that, right? You probably had to do that. And he would have got it as well. <laughs> it will work. It will work. Tragedy. Tragedy. Instant full tragedy. Yeah. He, he probably had to do it as well. He just like, because this is not going to be enough, is it? This is just not going to be enough, probably. Double GFI. And then stand there. And double GFI with a tomb guardian. Maybe it's enough. Yep, double GFI, uh, no, just single GFI with his Tomb Guardian, and no GFI with him. Maybe it's enough. He can get there, he can double GFI at the end, or single. Could base the ball with that guy. Cheney's just pro. Face up. Problem is if he goes if he goes too far over here, which he has to to defend against, he can just go back to the strength five can Corpac says. Yes, I think it just takes too much to stop it. I do think maybe he's going for the the one in nine was tragically the best player. 
Like you've got a reroll, so you're about one in five to get it. Like it's terrible, isn't it? But that's better than just losing, I guess. straight back off to this vampire if he wants if he doesn't want to go through but I mean he could just go for a power and then a dodge to score couldn't he tag blitz and then dodge off and score he can uh, gaze the tomb guardian uh, tagging the vamp then use that vamp to gaze another uh, player and just uh, blitz and score Yep. There is there is always options. I mean, it'll take a little while for Elliot to think about how best to do anything. But I mean, even like the brainless play of just blitzing here is fine. Right? Oh yeah, 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 he can just go there to D and uh, dodge and uh, happy days. Yep. Interesting. I much preferred if you're gonna gaze him, bring it. Oh, yeah. So he's going back. I guess he's going back. He's going Retreat. back. Retreat. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean, the brain, the brainless play was fine. Like it was really fine. Really good. Uh, so he go go back, hand off to the. The strength five, the strength five runs to the side, to the right side. Yep. He's got two throws to go with him as well. You get a long way away. And that's what is going to happen. Yeah. And because all the Camry team is more or less stacked, and there is low, not much they can do. Yeah, the, yeah, this is this is real bad for the Cams. Probably just tag him, right? Because yeah, tag the. No, he's not. He's screening. Uh. And obviously, make the second one so that you don't have to make them both in the next. And I think he's out of reach for an early everybody. Yeah. Correct. And now with his blitz here, he can uh, tag the, the... Well, the other option for Elite was going for the one in nine ball sack, which, as shit as it was, was probably his best option, wasn't it? So he's got 5 plus dodge for a 1D. He's got, a, he's got a double GFI to cancel the assist. And then he's got a dodge double GFI 1D to pow. To a blood stepper. Yeah, or he blitzes him and then bases the ball. Which is not good enough, is it? Mm. 
the other thing, you know, with these kind of uh, teams with super players like the Vamps, the TV difference is not, you know, as relevant as you could think. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing that Cheney's incredible, Wizard's incredible. So instantly 400 TV down is not a problem at all. <laughs> exactly. And it is much deeper because he also got a Brave and a, an Igor, you know? Mm. So it was even bigger difference. And But the thing, you know, is not a reactive team, Kenry. They need things going their way. Yeah, Leeds' last turn was solid, but it was just unlikely to be good enough, wasn't it? He had he had to protect the sidelines at first, and he it was I mean it was really hard, obviously really hard to defend this whole thing. But like, could it have been Azimus? Oh. No relevance. Funny. Also, clearly, you know, Elio's team with uh, every less vampire makes, makes the team more powerful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess if the, this screen should have been one further super out. Easy. No, but then he's blocking his way. Then I think he was blocking his way to go through. This guy could have been one further. Yeah, okay, so this guy could have been one further across. Then it would have been a 6 5. No, because he could have gone through the middle. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, so that could be one forward, yeah. Here we go, what's going to be? To the right. Oh, yeah, right or left, I guess. This is terrible because... Now uh, Elliot only needs to move, uh, you know, get up the wrestler one square and it's two dice on the Doom Guardian with the all Guardian. Yeah, the the okay, only thing okay. is the is the bloodlust. Yeah, that's the thing. But even then, he can just. Uh, I mean, the move dodges are one in thirty six, isn't it, to yes. score? So and, and he can just move back if he bloodlusts. It's not over. But yeah, people roll one in 36s. Some people will roll them when GFIing in the end zone uh, to lose. To yes, Spider, yes. So, uh, we, we, we have seen it the many times in the channel. I mean, gazing to free the throw isn't even really worth it, is it? One and three, the six to score. Yeah, stand up. So, I mean, he might do something with his fan, but it's probably not going to be worth it. Those two words I so long to hear. I don't know what they are. Denny Crane? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> He's bloodlusted. He re-rolled. Oh my god, so team re-roll is gone. He has to go for the naked GFI now. Oh. Oh boy, howdy. Or... Just move back. Yeah. <laughs> but he rerolled the he rerolled the bloodless. Like, just don't reroll the bloodless and bite him, right? If you're gonna go back. Boy, howdy. Is he going to go for it? He has more than enough time to think about it. 
Mm. He's going to go I for it. He's going for it. He's going to be rowdy. And it works. And it's 2 nil for the Bumps. He's got it. Bingo. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure that the first event was worth it, to be fair. I mean, you could still fail, all right. You could you could have still, like, just double won the GFI, whatever happened. So I guess it maybe is worth getting the first vampire in there to do something. Well, that is almost certainly GG now. Yes. I'm tempted to check uh, Elliot's channel to see how many people are getting banned for the skin. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. Yeah. Can we have stick stands? Yeah, I mean, there's a bit of time. I'm going to drop the knot over there to make sure that he knows it's not over. <laughs> Which involves that Camry scoring two times in three times easier than uh, doing it in three. Oh, Chigan's oh, gone for the GG. Well played. He's surely getting banned. <laughs> He's surely getting banned. Say it's over. I'm getting banned as soon as the game is over. <laughs> the first vamp activation cost nothing. Well, he might, he might have cast a, might have cast a throw, might. Les cavernes jouent entre eux dans de vastes cavernes souterraines. Chaque équipe a l'appui d'un clan majeur. Il y a les équipes du clan Skrir, celles du clan Echin, et ainsi de suite. J'ai rien compris de ce chat, bien, Jim. I'm rule of five, nothing of the valor exposed. Yeah, he's finally gonna look after his strength five now. I'd have benched him, honestly. Honestly, I'd have just benched him. Just literally, literally just bench this guy. <laughs> Neither of these teams are elves. <laughs> yeah, well known elf specialist purple chest. <laughs> no, Ripperdor. Don't make me ban you. The Kemri do indeed seem rather unlikely now. It's a heartwarming tale, by the way, the bingo. He starts off with no hands and then eventually he gets hands. <laughs> it's amazing. It's perfect. He's like, he's a bespectacled ginger fellow who's very intelligent and has no hands. <laughs> it's like, it couldn't be more Elliot. <laughs> I mean, the Kemri are like 
the Camry it just comes down to if you get to hit the strength five and Kazim or not, right? Whereas the Camry are like a bad matchup, a bad racial matchup, but at least you're just playing Blood Bowl properly. Instead of seeing uh seeing what happens with with the vampire. Going for the foul. Terrible foul. I will never add on that foul. No, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Silly foul. Is this fine? Well, by well, Dial's definition, this is fine. Yes, yeah, perfectly fine. No problem. Just you know, a little buckling, and this game is uh, done. <laughs> In real terms, yeah, not looking good. Yeah. What's this? Badly hurt. He's at loner anyway. No Camry team left. Yeah, there's a perm. There's a few perms for the Camry, their whole team. I mean, what to do here? You know, you need to score in three times. Mm. Maybe just give up. Say why did I use Camry? Why? <laughs> just say you know that did you receive a uh, job offer to work overseas for three months and conceive? Hello, Wally. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty much all. I could end the YouTube video now, but I won't. <laughs> Maybe if one you... of the vampires die. <laughs> Yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, you know, keep watching. There's some re hard revenue to be made. You can watch it on like triple speed or whatever. No, I think it only goes up to double, doesn't it? Watch it on double speed. See if something happens. Something might happen, right? You know, who, who knows? knows? Who knows? Who knows? Didn't need to talk about food. <laughs> He's probably he's playing a new game, isn't he? He's got fur, father, further, for who? Oh wow, Igor died. Well, I'm sure. I'm oh, sure. Oh, well, that's you know. Sad. Skyrocketing the views right uh, right now. <laughs> Talking about Demi, he's going. I think he's going for uh, Andy Davos uh, tournament, live tournament, this weekend. <laughs> He if he doesn't call his team kebabs not glory oh yes i will be very disappointed i have to tell him <laughs> farthest frontier uh, that's what dimmy's playing he's been playing a lot sorry carry on glory not kebabs or kebabs not glory which one Glory and kebabs, <laughs> you could call it. Because <laughs> he's going to win and he's going to eat kebabs. It could be glory and kebabs. Pooping over at Wellyard Stream. Fair enough. I don't like this defence though from Elliot, uh, This This guy... 
could have been here. <laughs> I think that's definitely where, where mine would have been. But uh, it's fair enough putting your best player on the pitch, but I just would not have. I would, would have a hundred percent not. He would have not been on the field for me. Well, had I uh, thought about it, obviously I made mistakes. Maybe Elliot instantly regretted it, and he's maybe on his maybe on his stream saying, "Why the hell didn't I do that?" But oh no, you know, having to play at 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> this is exactly when this game is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleary eyed. 100% <laughs> dedicated. Casting this game. You know, yeah, creating content, you know, live content, uh, <laughs> or whatever you live in the planet, there is always live content of Blue Ball to watch. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. He's bloodlusted, so he can just not bite. Nobody's gone next to him. What are you doing, Elliot? Oh, no. He's voluntarily keeping his best player. <laughs> what a fool. He's just cast him. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Okay, badly hurt. You got lucky. You got lucky. Is it capped it badly hurt? It's capped it badly hurt. For God's sake, Jim. It didn't used to be. In Liverpool Book 4 it wasn't. I mean, if you could kill your own players, I think vampires would be, you know, <laughs> even a worse thing. Yeah, yeah, you used to be able to, honestly, in, in the old rules it was... It was yeah, but in the old rules they didn't... Uh, they were even more powerful, or uh, I don't know which version they were. They had uh, they they used to have the uh, the like the count as a as a rookie player, but like that that got nixed pretty quickly. But through living rubric four, like a lot of fumble, they they the the thing just wasn't capped, which was pretty mental to be honest. You can the new rules as well, is it? Is it not capped in the new rules? Oh yeah, because it's animal savagery, of course. Yeah. yeah, they don't even have bloodlust yet, do they? Surely they will get it. Surely they won't just keep animal savagery. That seems pretty lame. Seeing as they're bringing in new things like hit and run, they will surely bring in bloodlust. Or off for a bite. Yeah, I've seen that hit and run, but uh, what is the name? What, what does it mean? Um, oh, it's pretty lame. After you make a block, you can move one square, regardless of tackle zones. Um, it's like no dodges or anything. Ignoring tackle zones, uh, but you can't end in the tackle zone of a pl an opposing player. So you can hit and go back, or hit and go forward, or whatever, if you pound stuff. But it's it's not very useful, and they've lost block. So okay, see that's that's a losing block for that. Yeah, I mean, it has obvious uh, uses, but I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty shit. The thing that's got going for them is they get the two strength four players, which is pretty bonkers. If you think how amazing, uh, you know, Zara the Slayer is, and honestly, the uh, the stakes aren't a big part of that. Mostly, it's just, and nor is the Dauntless. It's mostly just being six four three eight blodge, isn't it? It's really fucking yep. good, and they get two of them. So. Um, yeah, Blitz is a move 7 and they've got jump up, but who cares about being move 7 and jump up and who cares about hit and run? They've lost block, so they're, 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 the Blitzes are worse. They could have possibly lost strength access as well, right? We don't know for sure what their, what their skill access is. So while I don't think they should have lost strength access, as some people think they should have lost strength access, I don't think they should have lost strength access, but the fact that they have... Uh, Yes, yeah, so the fact that they have the fact that they could have done like it's they're already they're already shit. Like I don't think they they definitely shouldn't lose strength access because they're already shit. I mean, it's, if you you just leave the uh, Amazon Blitzes with general access. No, they could go like general and agility, couldn't they? Because they start with jump up, so and dodge. They could go general agility for them, and they don't have catches anymore. And catches used to have agility, so they've kind of made the blitzers kind of catches in a way. So they could do that, but I mean, I think they won't. I think. They should. They should have strength. I mean, it's Amazon's end of the day. 
Don't think blockers have strength access. Blockers surely would have to have strength access. But even if they don't, it's still fine, right? They're just a block strength 4, edge 3. Defensive, yeah. Defensive isn't great, but it's... it's not great, isn't it? They will still never win Chalice, that's true. Because for starters, uh, we will let them deem uh, in Blue Ball 3. So that's a lot of steps before yeah. they even have the chance of playing Chalice. Yeah. I mean, great is, is strong words, PC. It's all right. Guard is great. <laughs> Block is great, dodge is great. Mighty blow is really good. Tackle is really good. Sure hands is really good. Defensive is not great. If you get this for free, all right, but I don't see many people, you know, picking. Defensive. Yeah, it's all right. Like, it's definitely, like, it's definitely, I'd rather have it than not have it, obviously. If it is and defensive cost. is a strength access or general? Uh, defensive is agility. It's agility. Mm. Which is what oh. makes it even harder to take, right? Because the players you'd want it on are like long beards oh. and stuff. Maybe, oh. maybe like dark elves, right? After dodge and guard, they could go one sidestep defensive. Right? But it's, it's pretty hard yeah, to the, take. The third skill re, for a redraft. elf line or something like that, but. I mean, with two assists, PC. <laughs> I don't know, PC, learn to fucking roll. <laughs> yeah, with two assists. Or two assists, yes. Yeah, random, uh, ran random agility skills, but r agility skills are pretty shit. I don't think it's really good on a strength fall for free. I really don't think it's really good. I think it's fine. Really good on a strength fall for free is block <laughs> and dodge. The dodge is really fucking good. Like the dodge on the, on the strength fall is incredible. Like that is really good. That is great. It's got dodge. It's all right that it's got defensive. It's all right. It's kind of acceptable. It's kind of acceptable. But that's it. Yeah, only on a opponent's turn, yeah. Which is why, you know, it's better on a ball carrier because that's the only thing. That's the thing, isn't it? For me, that's a problem for tabletop players. Yeah, it's going to take us about four years to have that problem in Blood Bowl. Yeah, I am not one of them. Yeah, Blood Bowl. On the internet, it's going to take us several years to get there. Well, I'm very sure Fambele will have it at some point. Ah, yes, true, true. But not Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> yeah, Fumble will have it very quickly. <laughs> so, what I'm thinking, even if Blood Bowl 3 comes out, unless a lot of things change, you know, in the formats of uh, something like that, and there is a proper open ladder or something like that, I won't be playing it either. Yep, true, true. At least because I don't have the time to invest in trying to qualify for Chalice. I mean, fail to qualify to Chalice. <laughs> there was that time you won it though, remember? The sniper Arena. Yes, yes, exactly. I won it twice, as a player and as a coach. You know, <laughs> like, uh, not many, not many can say that. Because okay. not many are as seamless as I am. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, I won a really one challenge, you know. So. At the point, there is no, 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 nothing left. <laughs> Jimmy, fantastic. Hello, Matt. Um, I mean, they, I'm, they surely will, PC. Don't they? they surely will eventually. I'm sure they've said they plan to uh, put all of the teams in eventually. What I'm uh, very angry is that the high elves are not there since day one. You know. The, uh, one of the traditional teams from Blue Ball, and they're now replaced by the Pro Elves. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god! Two Skulls! 
Here we go, 4-2-2. As Tom Schnees said. But yeah, I mean... I mean, and they said, like, you know, I'm sure they plan. I'm sure, well, I'm, I'm sure they don't have a plan. But I'm sure they'd like to eventually release all of the teams. Sure. Yes, because releasing the teams meaning means uh, selling more uh, miniatures. Yeah. So it's sure that the Games Warsaw will keep releasing teams. Because they sell the teams. I mean, more people buy the team that people actually play with that team anyway. You know, the same with the Warhammer. Yes. If everybody that buys Warhammer miniatures and have armies of Warhammer miniatures will play Warhammer, <laughs> There will be a space on the planet for all the miniatures. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's no doubt you've got to go for it. I mean, you'd just lose if you don't. <laughs> there's no there's no thinking to be done, is there? Yeah, I'm not sure they plan. I mean, I'm not sure Cyanide are capable of planning anything, but... I'm sure they want to put them in. He's done the dodge, and he fails the chip. Diced. Tragedy. I think now we can say it's over. Mm. But how does Elliot not get his strength 5 vampire hit? He's running out of he's running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> There is not even need to punt or anything. He could let the Camry to score. Only a Riot will give the Camry a minimum chance. Oh, he failed. He failed the bloodlust. He failed. He failed to fail the bloodlust. I could have fouled, couldn't he? Could have fouled that guy. That would have been good. Make the cage with chaining the other vamp and then foul that guy. That would have been pretty good. That was the play. 100%, wasn't it? 100% the play was... Oh, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm a uh, big fan of uh, making fouls with your best players with nothing is on the line. Yeah. Cheney also could have gone there, so this guy could have double geofired. Because at the moment, you can probably 2D him. Okay, well there you go. Just roll all the dice. Disgusting. Disgusting behaviour by Elyon. I mean, if that vampire dies, nobody is gonna cry. Besides uh, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, Elliot might. You know, because it's, it's, it's a monstrosity that things will have never existed, you know? Like, uh, get a guy from Castlevania, you know, the, with a whip to kill it. <laughs> so you can, you can 2D the uh, one of the vamps here, and then you can try and get a hit on it next turn. I mean, that's all he can do now, right? Is try and play a spoiler to Elliot's next round. And he doesn't have to, and he isn't obligated to, but it's funny, isn't it? It's funny. So, I'd do it, even though I've got nothing against Elliot. Don't pile so you can hit the good one next turn. <laughs> oh, boo. This guy can get in the middle right. So okay, in the middle. Elliot has said, "Is I mean, it is over here. It was already uh, over." <laughs> yes, next time it's time sixteen for me. <laughs> for the Camry, so yeah. It was over about six turns ago, but yes, now it's technically over. <laughs> I mean, finally the leader, that's that's so. It was over when he failed the GFI. It was over when he failed the GFI. It was it was 100% over last turn. But now... Um, but I mean, it was pretty much over six turns ago. <laughs> or whatever. I 
It was over when we said watch it on double speed. <laughs> Only a kill. Safe. Mm. So you've got a, you've got a one in two one in nines to ah yeah and you only need to make one. Oh boy, howdy! Are we gonna get the ultimate justice for? <laughs> For Elliot. <laughs> oh my god. The crowd is waiting. <laughs> oh my god. So it's what? One, two, three, four. Double GFI to serve. He needs to uh, cover all the squares. Yeah. Because that side two, step. There's only two, yeah. There's only two, yeah. It's easy, put easy, easy. Two in and then double GFI. Or, or don't GFI and do a one and now he's going to double GFI. There you go, the most uh, exciting play of the second half. Mm, he's got him as well. Oh my god, there's no apple. Ah, oh, diced. We missed the 1 in 72 chances of uh, seeing that the player dead. It would have been just this, really. There was no reason to play him on defense, I don't think. 2 0 up against bloody Kemri. <laughs> Just bench him. <laughs> uh, maybe Elliot also hates that bump, you know, and he's subconscious and just put him you know, in danger. Yeah, yeah, he could have been, you know, I'm watching, I've got his stream and he could have been saying it every turn. Why did I put him on? Like, it's it's an easy mistake to make, isn't it? Like, you could have just done it by mistake. Yeah, yeah, you just go on a double. And also, there is the doubt maybe if everything goes wrong or there is some kind of dicing, I want to kill him, you know, just in case. Yeah, that's fair enough. So I would have been trying to kill the vampire. Like, I would have been doing it, but, like, not out of spite or anything. You are saying the game's not over, so we want him on. Well, I think he was wrong <laughs> in that assessment. 2-1 for the Camry, you know, covering the the owner goal. Mm. But yeah, there you go, another easy win for Elliot into the into the quarterfinals. Amazing performance by Elliot with this non-team. He's got one super vampire and not much else. Yes, and I guarantee that we are not Cheney more or less for every single game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's almost he's almost got Cheney rostered. <laughs> Pretty incredible. And how differently the game could have gone right with that initial hit by Elite if he'd got that removal. Maybe yes, wins the game. That, so that could have been, you know, the. That was the Camry, uh, you know, requirement to win. Mm. Get rid of that bump and uh, your chances of win uh, escalate because that leaves the bumps with the super player dead and only two bumps. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. So, commiserations, Leet. Congratulations, Elliot. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely glorious of you to come on and do the commentary. Uh, no worries. It's always a pleasure to be here. Amazing. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.